Diane Jezelskis. Um, Diane, our chief customer officer, she um, is going to do for these patients what she does for our hip and knee patients and a lot of others and our spine patients. But basically, she is their concierge, their, I'll stop talking because you're up here, but she kind of is helping guide our patients through our various programs to make sure that, that they stay on track and that nothing is missed and we'd be lost without her. And she is next. You can use this if you like. Thank you. I, um, I prepared something to read, but I was going over it and I thought, you know, I really shouldn't have to write down my name is Diane Jaselskis. <laughs> so <laughs> I think I'll go off script and sitting down there and listening to Dr. Bush um, explain the importance of this program, I realize when you're going over the risk factors, we really need to get this right because I'm what he's talking about. <laughs> I am an older, Caucasian, white female, small frame, so I'm at high risk for a hip fracture. So I wanna make sure we get it right. Um, my role is a new position that was created for the Orthopedic Institute, and as a chief customer officer, it's my job to make sure that whatever we tell the patient, that we deliver to the patient. So I could also be called a chief promise keeper. It's my job to make sure that the patients come first, the patients are always at the center of everything that we do, and it doesn't matter what position this patient is in, whether they're at home, whether they're in the hospital, whether they get discharged to a facility or back into their home. I'm a resource for that patient, and I need to Im improve any processes that aren't working well to make sure that the next patient that comes through the process, that we get it right. So that's my job description in a nutshell. And um, my focus of this presentation is on the discharge piece. And the discharge plan for these patients, typically when they come in through the emergency room, um, they come up to the floor and we'll start their discharge plan after they're fixed. Well, we're changing that structure. We're starting their discharge plan when they're in the emergency room. We have it built into our order sets that we will have staff go down, speak to their caregivers, um, speak to their family members, speak to the patient, assess, you know, where are they in this process as, as far as their safety at home? What can we do to help that? And we start as soon as they arrive at the hospital to make sure that we do get it right. Um, we educate the patient's family members or caregivers with a booklet that has been designed just for this program and it's specific to the hip fracture population and then it's my job to follow up as the patient moves through this process and make sure that we are delivering what they need when the day comes for their discharge so some of the things that we'll be assessing when the patient comes into the emergency room is their functional status what were they doing baseline what are they able to do them themselves so that we can get them back to that level as soon as possible We'll also be assessing their social support system. We want to know, you know, who's available for them when they get into the home. What do they have for resources? Um, social work will be involved in this. And then do they need a lifestyle change? Um, are they safe to go back into that home? We do have agencies in our area that go in and they'll do home safety evaluations. And we need to implement these to make sure that the patients do go home into a safe situation. I have had the pleasure recently of shadowing some of our home care workers and going into the patient's homes. And my overview of this um, and going into the elderly homes is that we really haven't done a terrific job taking care of our elderly patients sometimes. There are many needs out there that we don't, don't normally have a chance to look into their homes and see but it's really opened my eyes to the fact that we can do better. We can do a lot better for our elderly population and get them the services that they need before we get them out the door. So the rehabilitation piece of this begins um, post-operatively. If the patient is able, we will get them up the day of surgery and moving. If they're a little sedated, because sometimes the elderly population do not wake up from anesthesia as quickly as um, some of the younger patients but we will definitely get them up post-operatively day one. 
Um, they'll be able to bear weight. We'll teach them with a physical therapist how to safely navigate with a walker. Um, we will make sure that we walk them in the hallways, in the hospital, and make sure that on discharge, wherever they're go going, if it's home or if it's to a, a facility, that we give specific discharge instructions for that population. So it's critical for us to make sure that we get this right. Um, our elderly population um, really falls down when we don't take care of them in a timely fashion. So this program is totally designed to get this population through the process in a timely fashion so that they don't lose their function.